Hi, friends. Welcome to today's episode of We Are Marketing Happy, a healthcare marketing podcast. I am super excited. Today, we have Lauren Young. Lauren is Hetty and Hop's 2023 artist in residence. So welcome, Lauren. Thank you, Jenny. Hi, everyone. I'm glad to be here today. Well, I am just so in love with your art and your personality that shines through your work. So I was thrilled when you agreed to be our artist of the year, <laughs> but I'd love to start Thank off you. a little bit, just talking about your background, just tell folks who you are. Sure. All righty. Well, um, I'm born young. I am a St. Louis born and raised, um, art artist. I still, um, reside in the St. Louis area. So, um, Boop, boop to 314. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but yes, I've, I've, I guess I just a little bit of my creative background. I have always been um, a creative person. I think I really owe it to my mom who was always putting me in camps and classes when I was not um, in school, even if it wasn't art related. I was, I've just always been busy if I was not in school. So thanks, mom. Um, but art, um, I don't know. I guess elementary school is where I would say I really learned that I've Art was my favorite class. I was like, I couldn't wait to be in an art room. Um, and that love for art just kind of grew, grew and grew. I have um, was, I attended school in the Ladue School District. So if you all are familiar with the area, that's, um, I mean, I think it's still a very <laughs> great school district to be a part of. And um, the arts were definitely always supported. So I am grateful that that is um, kind of the experience I was able to have while growing up, because I do believe that's why I can still consider my artist to today. Um, but yeah, should I keep, you want me to keep going? <laughs> yeah. Tell me more about how you got back into art professionally. I think it's so sure. interesting because it's a story that I've heard quite a bit, actually talking to artists all over the country. So tell us about your trajectory there. Sure. So, um, my background is art, art education. I, um, taught for a few years here in the St. Louis area right after undergrad. And while I was teaching, I did continue to create, but I kind of paused. Um, my art kind of started to feel like it was in a, in a hobby phase. And I wasn't actually, it sounds silly to say as an artist, I wasn't making time to create, but yeah. that is the, the actual truth. It was hard to make time at that, excuse me, hard to create at that point in life. So I paused and then um, I took, I would say about a two year hiatus of painting, still had all of my supplies, but I just was not created. I was creating, I wasn't really motivated in that moment, but then COVID hit us. And um, I guess I just, I kind of have a, like a positive, I can see a positive from all of the not so great things that COVID brought um, society. But I, like many others was not working as much. We weren't leaving the house yet. I was, yeah, I was stuck in the house and I had all my art supplies and I was like, it's time. Um, let's kind of turn this negative that we are all facing into a positive. And so um, I pulled back out all my supplies. I started creating and posting more on Instagram. Um, I even took a few classes that were all virtual, of course, but as ways to just kind of build on my craft, I learned things like varnishing a canvas. I had no idea even what that was and how you do it. Um, but now I do. And now if you purchase a painting from me or see my work, it's sealed forever and it will always be shiny and gorgeous. Um, but so that's, that's a cool thing I learned during COVID. Um, but yeah, so through COVID or during COVID, I started essentially creating again. Um, I got an LLC. I'm officially Lauren Young Fine Art. And so since then, I have just been doing um, everything I can to better my craft and get my name out there, if you will. I love it. I love it. Talk to me yeah. a little bit about uh, what drives your creative style. Because I know every right. time I see a piece of your art, I feel joy and <laughs> happiness. And that's the reason the team at Hetty and Hop selected you as our artist in year is that is, you know, part of who we are as an organization. So what, what leads you to create art that makes people feel that way? Or what's sure. the force behind that? Sure. So when I am creating, I would say I am inspired by my life. Like when after a painting session, I can honestly say I feel better. And so with my art, like you said, I am hoping that through my color choices or maybe you're moved by my brush strokes, um, but definitely my color choices, I'm hoping that I am brightening the viewer's day or maybe having them have happy thoughts or maybe the piece that they're looking at makes them think of a memory from their past that brings 
um, can make their heart warm. That is always my like my hope with my work. Um, I'm never planning much of anything in my creative process. I always say that um, I kind of vibe out and cool things happen. And I mean, that is that is the literal depiction of my of all of my work. Um, but yes, I'm inspired by by life. I'm an emotional person, so that I guess that makes sense. That I'm an emotional artist. <laughs> so when you're looking at my work, um, yeah, it's like all of my thoughts and feelings on a canvas, essentially. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, it's a beautiful view into the joy of how you are <laughs> as a human being. So thank you thank for that. You. Thank you. Talk to me about your social media. I love your Instagram. <laughs> you The way that you record uh, sessions as you're creating and yes. um, what inspires you or um, like what's, what's the, I guess, just the inspiration behind uh, the content you post? Sure. So yes, in 2022, almost 23, correct? Right? We, you have to have a social media presence. So I will admit, I have a hate-love relationship with Instagram, but um, you got to post. And so I'm posting so people are, one, inspired. Maybe they need a little dose of art in their life. Um, for fellow creator creatives, excuse me, who maybe are looking for ideas or they need Advice, is, that might be a strong word, but just like creative advice. Um, I'm posting to give little bits and um, pieces on that as well, um, because I know during um, the early phase, I guess we'll say, of me starting to post as much and create as much, I was kind of finding people on Instagram that had a similar style and not to copy, but just to figure out, hmm, like, how are you, how are you making your colors pop? How do you work so big? You know what paint that was a huge thing also what supplies do you use to make your work look like it does so i do try to share that as i can i i have um a fake social media staff they're just friends but i call them my social media team i, do, I have been told i need to do more so i will try but i'm doing the best i can because now reels are what you have to post and so <laughs> so when you look at my content Hopefully you're loving the color I'm posting. And then maybe you also like the song that goes with the little time lapse video too. <laughs> Things just keep getting more and more complex with social, don't they? They do. They do. They're always changing. <laughs> Moving target. Well, um, big news for you as far as maybe not having as much time to post is you have a solo art show in January. Oh, I'm so excited for you. Tell all of our listeners all about it. Yes. So in January, um, January 20th, 20th, to be specific, I will have a solo show at um, the Center of Creative Arts, COCA for short, um, in University City. Um, it is, it's not my first show, solo show. This is, I think, my fourth, but it's the first one in such a like traditional like gallery space, like where I'm working with our curator. Like this is, that's new for me. So new fields and um, more wall space than I think I've had before to cover. So um, a little, just a little snippet of what that is about. The um, show is called Breathe. And so it's um, the kind of like tagline for it is a moment of gratitude and rest. And so my work with that is, of course, I'm still giving you lots of color. Um, I have larger scale pieces than I usually work with, which is always exciting. Um, but the point of this is, I've just become very um, aware of the fact that I have to actively make myself take a moment to pause, to find things, focus on things that I'm grateful for, and just kind of focus on the, the positives that are going on in life so that, so that I have a good day. So it kind of changes my mindset. And so there you'll, if you come, you'll get to see the work, but then there also is an interactive piece um, to the show as well. So I am, I'm looking forward to that. So that is January 20th. That, that's the opening reception from like seven to nine, I think. <laughs> and then how long will your show be available for people to go yeah, see? Till January 20th to March 12th, I believe. Okay. So a nice, a nice little chunk of time. Yes. Yeah. Perfect. Well, Lauren, it is such a joy to have you as our artist of the year. Thank uh, you. For all of the listeners, I'm going to put links to not only Lauren's website, but also all of her social media channels. So you can see the really great reels on Insta. And then I'll also <laughs> include a link to her art show. And hopefully we'll see you there 
in person, but do go and check out all of Hetty and Hop's updated social media and websites, um, assets, because they all uh, will feature Lauren's art through 2023. So thank you again, Lauren, and look forward to a fun thank year with you. you. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Jenny.